Hey guys, welcome to this video and myself Pardik Patel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this no DLL where found in the waterfall procedure error message prompts up whenever you open the power to go or GoPro Studio softwares or application or some other applications. So let me open the Cyberlinks power to go application and here we go. When I open this DVD video disc, uh, if I want to burn DVD video disc, here we go. We found an error message that error at loading of IPPSP library. No DLLs were found in the waterfall procedures. I have to click maybe four times to go through that and then only the program will get open. So I just close this program and we're gonna fix this issue. To be very honest that I'm not the one who found the solution actually I found the solution from internet but on YouTube I didn't found that many videos which were explaining this so I thought let's make a video so people can uh, get an advantage of it so to delete or to erase or to fix this issue what you have to do is you have to go to C drive and in this C drive, go to Windows, and under the Windows, if you go to this SYS WOW64 folder, in that folder you will find five DLL files. So if you go all the way down, the file name starts with IPP. So here we go. So first one is IPP CORE IPP core dash six point one DLL. Press and hold shift and select those files. IPP core six point one DLL. Second one is IPP J six point one. Third one is IPP JW seven six point one. Fourth one IPP S six point one and IPP VC six point one. So once you select, make sure you create temporary deleted DLLs folder on your desktop and just move all these files in temporary deleted DLLs folder. Once you uh, move, it will ask this kind of permission that you will need to provide administrator permission to move these files. Uh, make sure you select do this for all current items check mark checked and continue. Once you continue, what will happen? All these files will be transferred to the temporary deleted DLLs folder. You don't have to worry about for now. I just created this folder for the safety. So in case in future, if I need these files, then I have this file saved somewhere else. So I can move back in this folder and I can come back to the uh, old stage. So now let's close this folder and open the Cyberlink power to go. In your case, it can be GoPro Studio application or some other applications. So once I open, and here we go, go to DVD video disc. And it got open without any issue. That means the error is fixed. I'm not sure why and how it was causing an issue. And after deleting all these five files, uh, it gets solved. So I hope you enjoy watching this video and I've been helpful to you somehow. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please comment me in comment box below. And of course, thumbs up, subscribe this channel for more YouTube videos in future. And I would love to hear about your suggestions, your comments and your ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.